Welcome to Red's Workshop! Hey there guys, gals, and automobiles of the internet. How are you doing today? You doing well? I hope you're doing well. You deserve to be doing well. And if you're not, I'm sure that life will begin to improve shortly. And if it doesn't, well that fucking sucks, I'm sorry. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna look at a figure that I did not think that I would be opening. Uh, I've had this thing on card for quite a while now. I think it's been shit a year well over a year um but they've recently announced that they are going to be re-releasing the atst uh so i figured well you know what for the 40th anniversary let's get this guy out of here because that one is coming with a chewbacca not a driver so we're gonna need a driver for it um especially since i'm probably gonna fucking buy two of them because one for Chewie to drive, one for him to drive. I don't know yet. We'll see. Because uh, it's fucking expensive. But in the meantime, we got this guy. Uh, I like using the vehicle in the back, in the card backs. Because um, the Klaatuinian Raider, I hope that gets here soon. That one also has the, the Raider version of that in the background. Uh, he looks great on the bubble. We got 192 on the back. And we've already talked about the other two. So let's get him out of his plastic prison. Alrighty, so as far as accessories go, comes with the standard Stormtrooper blaster, the E-11, I believe it is, blaster rifle. Focus, please. There we go. Uh, no weathering or anything, which is a little unfortunate, but, you know, this was from... Actually, you know what? No, that's lame. That's fucking lame. We're gonna, get, we're gonna give that a firm, that is fucking lame, because they were doing pretty decently at this point in the line. This is from what? 2020? 2021? Fuck, that is so much legal bullshit. I cannot read what year this came out. There's so many fucking numbers on me back there. What was the 50th anniversary? Whatever. Uh, it was 2021. Yep. So it was close enough in the fucking timeline of the universe that they were using way better materials and way better paint apps, so... That's a disappointment to start off with. Um, then looking at the figure, this thing is a re-release from a previous line. It's got to be because these hip joints are shit. They're not even forward-backward joint. Look, if you move backward, they spread further. And if you move them forward together, they get closer together. Which, I, it's great for, you know, getting them into, like, the cockpit of something. Like, a, I don't know, ATST. But it's a weird, weird articulation if you want him to just be standing alongside it. Um, and the helmet is removable. So there's a nice face sculpt under there. I don't know if this is a named character or who this might be. The face paint is off-center, so that's kind of annoying. I'll definitely be keeping the helmet on there so it's a lot less noticeable. Um, and it's just the old ball joint under there, because, again, this is a re-release. So, shoulder's good, moves over 90. Um, you get about 90 at the wrist. And then, I don't know, I've heard a lot of people piss and moan about glove joints, but I like glove joints, especially if, like, it's a good, it's a good joint. Look at that. It, like, it's hidden, you, but you still get rotation. I like them. I personally like them. Uh, he's got the good ab crunch, which we love, and it's even, like, hidden by this belt a little bit, which refuses to stay on the shoulders, so that's kind of frustrating, but it's a cool little harness that he's got there. Um, you already saw the leg articulation that I'm not fond of. Uh, ball joint at the knee, so it will do full rotation, as well as breaking 90. And then we've got a classic foot joint with the rotation and... Uh, like forward, backward, swivel, but no rocker or anything. So, in all, it's a really nice re-release, but it's not that great of a figure on its own. He's got nice trigger fingers on both of his hands, so you can put the blaster in either hand, and then you can have him kind of like 
pointing, like he's uh, given a command or something. Because I, I don't know where these guys fit on the the food chain, but I feel like I feel like they they should they're like commanders or something like that, right? Like uh, above the average troops, considering they get the like the the heavy ass artillery. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a fine re-release. If this was the first time that this figure was releasing, um, I would be a lot more disappointed in it. But, I don't know, it was an exclusive for an anniversary, so I'm happy we got it at all. And, I mean, I personally paid discount prices for it, because I wasn't even going to take this out of its card. It was just going to sit on a shelf and collect dust until I saw the re-release of the ATSD. So, I don't know, take... Use that to gauge how much I think this thing is worth. Um, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Do me a solid and bring your family into my family by clicking that subscribe button and having them do the same. Because we're not a cult, we're a family. Uh, in the meantime, I love you guys. Do me a solid and take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And uh, you know what? See you in the next one. Bye.